హలో ఎవరిబడి ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ ఏఎం త్రిజ్ఞానం సీనియర్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ కార్డియాలజిస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ కార్డ్ కార్డిక సెంటర్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ స్టెంట్ రీస్పోమోసిస్ ఎవరిబడి నోస్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద స్టెంట్ స్టెంట్ ఇస్ ఎ డివైస్ టు రిమూవ్ ఏ అక్లూడెడ్ బ్లడ్ వెసల్ through this stent to remove the occlusion we implant the stent inside the arteries or venous any body the stent restenosis is very common nowadays due to this stent restenosis particularly in coronary artery stent restenosis patient may have catastrophic effect like heart failure sudden cardiac arrest and continuous chest pain we have different type of stent restenosis apart from coronary artery stent restenosis peripheral vascular stent restenosis also very common peripheral vascular restenosis in the sense renal artery restenosis lower limb artery restenosis and subclavian carotid vessels restenosis are very common due to the implanted stents today very particularly we are going to see coronary artery stent restenosis what are the reason for the coronary artery stent restenosis and how to diagnose the restenosis and what are the treatment latest treatment strategy to permanently cure stent restenosis and finally what are the precautions important precautions we have to take to prevent the stent getting occluded again and again and avoid unnecessary bypass surgery or angioplasty even after the once stent is implanted inside the coronary arteries first we will see what are the reasons for restenosis of the stents number 1 if you see the lesion anatomy the block coronary artery disease coronary artery block if the block is more length the size is length is more if the block is long for example if it is more than 25 mm 30 mm 40 mm and if the block is diffusely diseased diffusely means irregularly and long segment diseased blood vessels and lot of thrombus and a heavily calcified heart blood vessels these are physiologically important risk factors which can cause future stent restenosis rates are very high other than technical factors the doctor cardiologist who is implanting the stents he has to ensure the stent is implanted perfectly into the patient blood vessel heart blood vessels suppose the stent is under expanded if the stent is not properly opposed to the arterial wall if the stent is under sized at the same time if the stent is the long if it the stent length is more than 40 mm or 50 mm or more than 25 mm the chances of getting restenosis rates are very high other factors drugs factors especially antiplatelets the patient should comply with the treatment after getting angioplasty with the stents everyone should not forget to take regular antiplatelet drugs statins continuously based on your consultant but uh, cardiologist only you can tap at the dose you can minimize the dose suppose if the statins or any particular drugs reaction if you are facing your cardiologist personal cardiologist will decide what is the next course of medical treatment which is the best suitable for you unless the doctor says to stop the drugs a patient should not stop their drugs and this is very important some patients may develop allergic reaction to antiplatelets echosprin clopidogrel 
Ticagrel or Prasagril. These kind of antiplates are available in the markets. So, if any one of your patient gets allergic reaction to any of the antiplates drugs, they need to be properly monitored and evaluated and treated consequently according to the results. Then, stint factors. The stint, nowadays we have the premium level drug coated stints. The super premium drug coated stints are available nowadays in the market. We have basically very three type of drug coated stints in the market. Number one, Sirolimus drug eluting stints, Tacrolimus drug eluting stints, Everolimus drug eluting stints, and Zatarolimus drug eluting stints. The four types of drugs eluting stints are available in the markets. But most preferably, almost 90% of the cardiologists they select Everolimus and Zatrolimus drug eluting stents only based on their experience, based on their comfortable and patency rates. This may vary from cardiologist to cardiologist. I am not promoting any drug eluting stents in this program. So based on your cardiologist experience, he knows better than others the best stents which is more helpful to the patient to maintain the long time patency. Stent resnosis form. Sometimes the stent resnosis form in particular middle of the stent. Sometimes both the edge of the stents you can see. Sometimes diffused slowly the layer can form inside the stents all over the stents. This is a different type of stent resnosis. Here I am showing in the pictures. Some people they think that stent can be removed and we can put new stents inside the same place. That's wrong. The implant, once the implanted stent cannot be removed, taken back, cannot be removed when the stent is get close to. Some doctors, cardiologists, they prefer to put one more stent inside the blocked stent. Some doctors, some cardiologists, they prefer simply dilating a balloon. We have different type of balloons, non-compliant balloons, cutting balloons. We have that is called atherectomy devices. We have different type of atherectomy devices available in the markets. But the recent advanced form of treatment for resnosis rates that is called intravascular lithotripsy. Intravascular lithotripsy, what the technique means, inside the stent, the blocked stent, first we put inside the one wire, through the wire, we insert lithotripsy device that is called balloon mounted lithotripsy device. Between the occluded stents, inside, between the edges, we place lithotripsy balloon. The balloon gives shocks uniformly inside the blood vessels, the entire segment. This is called a lithotropsy technique. This technique just simply it gives shock wave. The shock waves propagate inside the stents. By the shock wave, the inside the blood vessel, uh, abnormal tissue, growth, fibrous tissue, have been minimized by this shock wave. They can get spoiled and the thickness will be reduced by this type of technique. This technique is called intravascular lithotropsy. This is a newly developed technique and it gives almost 90% best result. By this technique, patient may not need to put second stent inside the occluded stent. This is the best treatment available option till date. The circumflex, proximal, the lower one is left main, instant resnosis. These two diseases, two instant resnosis, 
we have successfully treated without any dissection any slow flow or compromising the normal patency of the vessels we have successfully treated here you can see after that ivel treatment intravascular ethotracer treatment we didn't put any stents the patency is normal there is no flow stasis or slow flow the next one is brachytherapy brachytherapy means is a radiation treatment inside the stent where the stent got occluded just we put brachytherapy catheter the radiation emitting source between the occluded stent inside the occluded stents the stent will get radiation from the catheter source most of the time we use beta radiation catheters to clear the atheroma or fibrous tissue inside the stent which got occluded before here you can see the pictures the first upper one the middle one the lower one the first one is severely blocked very critically blocked stents how the brachytherapy catheters is dissecting and removing the block the second image is so gradually moved the third image is the was the occluded atheroma and fibrous tissue smooth muscles completely removed by this brachytherapy treatment strontium 90 and yttrium 90 beta radiation materials we use in brachytherapy for instant restenosis this was a very successful procedure sometimes it may can it may cause hematoma inside the blood vessels that hematoma uh, can lead to aneurysm or again reocclusion but this can be used very carefully with the expert hands no all the cardiologists can perform this bracket treatment bracket therapy treatment only expertized and experienced in this particular technology cardiologists only can perform this type of procedures and then third one we have drug coated balloon is a simple treatment for stent restenosis drug coated balloon paclitaxel drug coated balloon is available in the market is a simple treatment just we put one wire across the restenosis occluded stent through the wire we insert this balloon here you can see the images how the balloon is inflated inside the occluded blood vessels while inflating the balloon the drugs coated around the balloon is delivered inside the blood vessel here you can see the drugs gradually regress the atheroma plaque and fibrous tissue by this way the stent restenosis is permanently cured this is simple treatment it takes hardly 15 to 20 minutes only the patient can be discharged same day or the second day very simple procedure it doesn't need more contrast that's a very important what i said before intravascular lithotropsy intravascular brachytherapy and drug coating balloon treatment these three type of restenosis treatment doesn't consume more contrast volume and doesn't need more radiation time during the catheter catheter procedures all these three procedures can be performed within 20 to 25 minutes the patient can be safely discharged same day if the patient undergoes the procedure through radial artery the patient can be discharged next day if the patient undergoes and this procedure through femoral artery left femoral or right femoral this is a very harmless procedure this is a very effective and most most trustful recently advanced treatment available options for stent restenosis people don't worry about the restenosis 
and you don't need to undergo again bypass surgery and moreover putting the second stents inside the occluded stent can be avoided very importantly you should not miss any cardiac drugs particularly statins and antiplatelets statin and antiplatelets plays crucial role to prevent stent restenosis even that's also suitable for after bypass surgery unless you have any contraindication side effects you should not stop antiplatelets unless your doctor cardiologist to say to stop antiplatelets some rare situations warrant to stop antiplatelets for example the patient may get ji bleed ulcer bleed any bleeding complications so we have to stop the antiplatelets and the concerned cardiologist will see other options what are the next drugs we can put to prevent to preserve the stent in future so don't forget it don't forget to continue the medications so very important if you miss the treatment for restenosis you may develop heart failure you may develop cardiac arrest the heart will stop suddenly no one can stop no one can save in that moment any patients if they feel any discomfort even after angioplasty any like uh, light headedness or heaviness or just uh, like uh, a burning sensation or breathlessness while climbing on stairs uh heavy chest discomfort while walking chest discomfort on simple exercise or simple activity go to your cardiologist and get evaluated properly if you miss simple symptoms in small complaints that may lead to major catastrophic effect and it may lead to organ failure particularly end stage heart failure so friends take care of your health and stick with the treatment treatment comply the treatment and any complaints don't take any decision individually consult your cardiologist and he knows better than you so thank you very much for your attention take care of your heart if you have any doubt if you want more information if you want any new video regarding heart disease any related procedures you can write your comment in the comment box any queries question we are ready to answer as soon as possible don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button and share this video take care of your heart bye bye